Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today I want to show you a use case uh, for a topic or two that we've recently talked about in, in, in recent posts, and that is using skip blanks and also, also the keyboard shortcut Control-Alt-V, which accesses the Paste Special dialog box. So here's our scenario. And this uh, one just occurred, actually. Um, I decided I've been going through some physical therapy lately to strengthen my knee so I can get back to doing my uh, distance running. And uh, so I decided I want to train for a half marathon this fall. So I decided to lay out my mileage chart here. And I put in the miles week 1 through 12. But I didn't er insert anything for Monday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, Monday uh, normally is a uh, rest day and um, Friday would also be a rest day and then Saturday whoops I'm gonna, I can type there and then Saturday is a cross training day so I could uh, I wanted to enter those in this chart but I could you know there's a couple ways to do it I could type rest here and then drag and copy that same type rest here and cross here and drag and copy those across but I thought why not use um, skip blanks and uh, also access that through the keyboard shortcut control alt v so i'm going to show you how i actually did that uh, first i'm going to highlight this and put on my borders and center those so they are formatted how i want them to appear in my chart here and i'll copy those and again if i went and just pasted those into this area and i'm going to hit uh, control v to paste it would paste obviously the rest, rest, and cross, but where I had blanks in the other cells in, uh, in column O, it would replace the values I had in my chart with those blanks. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit Control Z to undo that. And now instead, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control Alt V to bring up the Paste Special dialog box. I'm going to choose Skip Blanks. And now when I say OK, it pastes rest, rest, and cross in my chart, but it skips over where I had blanks in the copied cells and does not replace the values that were in the destination cells with those blanks. And that's what the benefit of skips blanks does. So um, again, it's a good application for this if you ever have to copy uh, some values into a larger area and want to skip over where you have blanks and not displace your data in the destination cells and then using the keyboard shortcut control alt v makes it easier to access that paste special dialog box without having to grab the mouse you can keep your hands on the keyboard and there you have it thanks for stopping by hope you liked it if you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.